I was waiting since Sonic Generations to have a sequel of the boost formula style of game for Sonic games, but without using nostalgia like Sonic Generations and putting classic Sonic and using old stages. A new Sonic game that's creative and with completely new ideas. Does Sonic Forces meet fan expectations? No, it doesn't. Now, I have the courage to make this video. It's time. This is TotGamer007 and today I will tell you why Sonic Team should stop making Sonic games. And it's time. It's time for a change. So let's get started. Disclaimer, this is my opinion, and I'm not a Sonic hater, please understand. Since Sonic Forces came out, I wanted to make this video, but I lacked the courage to make it because I love Sonic, and I grew up with Sonic games. I grew up with the Boost Formula, Advance series, and the Rush series. At the Sonic 25th Anniversary Fan Event, I was so excited for Sonic Forces even if I told myself why Classic Sonic is there. Sonic Colors didn't need Classic Sonic to make 2D levels. If Sonic Team wanted to make 2D levels to save development costs, they could have made modern Sonic levels in 2D like Sonic Colors. I like those 2D levels in Sonic Colors. I hope I'm not in the minority. Sonic Team could have done that but they just added Classic Sonic for nostalgia factor and it doesn't make any sense. There's no reason for Classic Sonic to be in Sonic Forces. I don't know what went through the Sonic team's mind to put Classic Sonic in there just to add uh, people for, that like Sonic Mania to go to Sonic Forces. It didn't work, to be honest. It did not. It just made Sonic an uh, extra Sonic character there for no reason, to be honest. I felt like they lied in the 25th anniversary fan event saying that this game was made by the Sonic team that made Sonic Colors and Sonic Generation. Sonic Forces end up as a team trying to emulate the boost formula. So how did Sonic Team could screw up Sonic Forces? It should have been close to Sonic Colors and Sonic Generation in physics and gameplay. I cannot believe um, Sonic Team made a boost formula Sonic game that is mediocre. I don't even know how that's possible. I never believed I could see that day and it happened. When the adventure gameplay was really great, they could have expanded on it and and brought in Sonic's Horizon in 3D and then Sonic 06 happened and they messed up the whole adventure formula and now Sonic Team is afraid to make an adventure style Sonic game. Now I'm scared that Sonic Team is gonna do the same thing with Sonic Forces. They're gonna they made all these great Sonic Boost Formula games and Sonic Forces was mediocre and they're gonna like, well we're gonna start all over and make a new type of gameplay and then Sonic Team is gonna screw up again. It's hard for me to say this because I love every 3D Boost Formula game except this one, but Sonic Team forgot how to make Sonic feel good. The controls are stiff and Sonic Team forgot to add platformer physics to a platformer game. I don't know how Sonic Team could forget that Sonic started out as a platformer. The enemies doesn't attack you unlike Sonic Colors and Sonic Generation. Sonic Forces feel too automated. The game almost feel like Sonic 4. Remember? A lot of springs and boosters make Sonic game feel completely automated and Sonic Forces is guilty of this completely. How can you make Sonic Mania a fan game better than a Sega, AAA or middleware game? I love Sega's IPs way too much and I think Sega should protect it. I'm gonna give you some ideas to make Sega make Sonic great as Sonic Colors and Sonic Generation constantly. Sega need to slow down Sonic releases until Sega figure out what Sonic should be. Sega should restructure Sonic Team and rename them so they can work on other Sega or forgotten Sega IP such as a new Knights game or a new Jet Set Radio game. Both of them are my dream Sega sequels. I would love to be a, a second game or another game to them. Sonic Team problem is that Sonic games is too fast and they blow through levels right so they shouldn't have a problem making a sequel to 
games that slower base in the in design. Anyway, Sonic Team looks like they're familiar with these games because they had a Knight skin and a Jet Set skin into the game for your avatar, right? As a pre-order bonus, so they they, they know what they're doing, right? <laughs> Sega should make a completely new team to work on Sonic games that actually understand what makes a good 3D Sonic game. I also believe this new Sonic team should take risk, but not risk like Sonic the Black Knight and Sonic of the Secret Rings those type of games not like that but risk that could actually brought in the sonic horizon in 3d the game design and could work in a sonic game also i might get hate for this but i believe the new sonic team should be located in the west that means united states or maybe europe somewhere other than japan most sonic fans live in the west i don't even know if anyone plays Sonic games in Japan so why make Japanese make Sonic games I don't even think they know what makes a Sonic game good to be honest some might join the Sonic team in the West because they want to make Sonic great because they grew up with Sonic because most people bought Sonic in the West not in not in Japan no one really played Sonic in Japan so I don't even know why Japanese are making Sonic games but this is my personal opinion and the Europe, people in Europe and people in North America should take a shot in making a Sonic game. And I believe that it should not be in Japan, nowhere near Japan, because the new Sonic team should not be influenced by the old Sonic team in any way, if that makes sense. Make the Americans or Europeans take a shot on making a AAA Sonic game. Not a middleware game, not a $40 game. A game that can compete with other type of platformers, $60 platformers. And instead of making a Sonic Sonic team make it that it obviously don't understand what makes a good Sonic game, just give it to someone that probably will. If Sega doesn't like my ideas, I have another idea that's still in my head that will fix the current Sonic team. Sega could hire people that knows how to make a great game. They could hire better story writers. Uh, they could bring my Crush 40 as one of the lead artists of uh, singing the theme songs. Uh, they could do a lot of different things. They could even hire people from the West to join Sega, um, the Sonic team in in Japan if they wanted to. That knows how to, what makes a good Sonic game. I know developers travel a lot when creating games, so. That's also a possibility that Western people could move to Japan and make a good Sonic game. Another thing Sega could do is make Sonic Team do a beta test for their latest Sonic games. So Sonic Team could take the feedback to fix what's wrong with their game. If Sonic Team did a beta test in June for Sonic Forces, they could have fixed maybe majority of the problems, including Sonic Forces physics. The demo would have been the E3 demo, right? and would most likely be Park Avenue, it would be the Avatar stage and the Classic stage. In my opinion, all three stages that was shown in the E3 demo was mediocre. The beta could have gave Sonic Team advice so they could add more into the stages. Most likely the advice would help Sonic Team add more interesting level design in the stages similar to Sonic Generation and Sonic Colors. They had 5 months to fix it. Maybe the sizes of the stages are too short and they couldn't fix it before release. But at least they could have fixed the enemies and fixed how the enemies attack you. Because in this game, the enemies, basic enemies do not attack you at all. And the bad platformer physics. They could have definitely fixed that. Maybe they could have added more interesting platforming sections in the game. Because Sonic is a platformer, most likely. The present Sonic team doesn't know what's a platformer game, to be honest. On the bright side, Sonic Forces is on PC, and that means it's possible that Sonic Forces could also be fixed by mods made by fans. Fans could make a mod to import Sonic Generation physics into Sonic Forces. Fans could fix the stage length by combining missions together. If Sonic team is not going to do it, fans are going to do it. Just how fans show Sonic Team how to make a real Sonic 4, am I right? And that is all the main reason why Sonic Team should stop making Sonic games. 
My ideas mean nothing because no one is gonna really agree with me anyway. In the comment section below, what do you think Sega should do to make constant good Sonic games? So this is Dot Gamer 007 and I see you in the next one. Peace.